in the previous video we modeled the terrain from level curves. Then we made the roads by projecting curves onto the surface. Now we will place some buildings that we made in SketchUp on the terrain. This is the SketchUp model. The geometry is modeled in meters, so is the Rhino model. But somehow the model is still out of scale when it's imported into Rhino. We will need some geometry to help us get the scale right in Rhino. I make a line that is 500 meters long. Now I'll save the SketchUp file and import it into Rhino. The SketchUp geometry is now part of the Rhino model, but it is obviously out of scale. By making a line in Rhino with the length of 500 meters, I have a reference line that I can use to scale the SketchUp geometry. Move the SketchUp line to the reference line, then use the scale tool. Select the origin point, now select the reference point, and last, the end point of the Rhino reference line. The SketchUp geometry is now in scale. Move the geometry on top of the terrain and move the individual buildings so they match the GIS data. It will not be a complete match because the SketchUp model is made from roughly estimating the building footprint from an aerial photograph. Select the buildings and move them above the terrain. We will use Grasshopper for positioning the buildings on the ground. Right-click on the Buildings component to load the building geometry into Grasshopper. Do the same for the terrain. By selecting the last component in Grasshopper, you will see the result of the Grasshopper definition. That would be the buildings on the ground. You need to bake the geometry from Grasshopper to bring it into Rhino. The original buildings are not needed anymore, so they can be deleted.